Yeah, Doug, deputies reopened this road earlier this afternoon after investigators spent all morning out here. You can see that house right behind me where that shooting happened and relatives tell me that they never imagined that they would be spending their 4th of July mourning a loved one. <laughs> A family in anguish as relatives of the suspect in a deputy involved shooting returned to the spot he died. The suspect's mother in law and the mother of his children both in pain. His father in law in disbelief. You see this? I see my daughter. Do you see my family? The name of the suspect who was killed has not yet been released. What we do know is deputies followed the suspect's vehicle from this car wash on Coors to this home where Sheriff Manuel Gonzalez says he tried to get away on foot. The deputies confronted the suspect. The suspect produced a firearm. And the suspect was pronounced deceased shortly after. Investigators are now looking into the suspect's car, which was towed out of the neighborhood after this morning's deadly shooting. Relatives say there could have been other ways to handle this. The police is supposed to protect you. No, because I saw, I saw what happened. The family tells us the suspect was the father of three boys, ages 7, 11, and 12. His father-in-law saying the violence needs to stop. For my family. Not for me. For my family. And I let three guys, three, three girls, my kids. Now, those two deputies involved in the shooting are uh, in administrative leave as this investigation is ongoing. Reporting from Southwest Albuquerque, I'm Christine Pay, KOAT Action 7 News. The Sheriff's Department just sent us pictures of the red Chevy Monte Carlo. The shooting victim was driving. Deputies said the car was not reported stolen, but it did display stolen plates. Detectives say they found items in the car that led them to believe it was involved in other crimes. If you know anything about this, call the Sheriff's Department.